Hello. I have dreamt about something for as long as I can remember. I was really little when I first started desiring this thing. And what it is, is um, I grew up in a very um, religious background. We went to church twice on Sundays, every Wednesday, every holiday. Um, so I grew up seeing like men in the pews like this and their wife would be right here. And I always wanted to be the person who was right here because it, it looked like they were loved and accepted and wanted and I don't really know why I liked it so much but I do I, I still do and I um but it turns out like people I, the minute that I've been with um don't really like church don't really like being there and um right now I don't go to the church building um so kind of wondered when it would ever come to pass but I I I knew it would Today I told my kiddos, hey, we're going to watch a Christmas sermon. And uh, so my eldest sat here. I was right here. I was sitting right here. My eldest sat here. My youngest sat here. And during the sermon, which was about embracing the chaos of Christmas and that um, the Christmas season, the, like the first one, wasn't lights and tinsel. It was hay and poop and crying and... <clears throat> chaos so the whole thing was about embracing the chaos and the boys were kind of into it they were like okay yeah and what the preacher was saying um kind of mirrored my situation a little bit so they were like oh mom it's just like you and I'm like yeah and I noticed that my oldest arm was around me right here <laughs> and we were in church and my dream came true today. Not like I thought it would, but it came true today. And he's turning into such a cool young man. Um, so I tried to hold on to that, embrace the chaos. And I tried to be patient all day because yesterday we had a major incident where mama lost her mind. And um, so today was going to be better. So after supper... I wanted to go look at the lights in St. John's. And so I piled everybody in the car, and then youngest two started fighting. I mean fighting, and hitting and screaming. So I pulled over and I said, listen, I'm not going any further. If this is how it's going to be, we'll go right back home. And youngest had a major, 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 major fit and was screaming and crying and kicking and, I mean, screaming and I just sat there and I held Mr.'s hand and I had a coffee and I was just like, I'll wait. Oh honey, I'll wait. And so now that I'm saying it, I'm connecting my total breakdown yesterday night with her breakdown today. Um, I think we all needed a little breakdown and I'm not looking forward to the other two, but hey, we'll deal with it as it comes. So anyway, we get back on the road. She calms down we get back on the road and she's like I have to pee right now and normally when she does that I'm like well I'm sorry you'll have to wait or pee in your car seat and what so what I said was okay I'm gonna pull over but if you fight me on getting out and going to the bathroom because uh, all we have is side of the road then we will go home so she gets out and she's scared she's like can I have a light and so she's going to the bathroom and I look over and middle's going to the bathroom and thank goodness we're on a dirt road so we pile back in and we go get back on the freeway and then we get to St. John's and I find this big 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 tree and that was beautiful and we took pictures but then I can't find any more um I can't find any more lights I'm getting frustrated they're getting squirrely and they start fighting in it again they start fighting again so I just pack them back up and we come home and uh I locked them out of the car when we got home so I could be there with Mr. and we could talk. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty discouraged with how our 
memorable memorable time is going because it's just not working and nothing is working and I told mister I said why do I try so hard again he's like I don't know like how do I not get so discouraged I don't want to try anymore like we need to get out once in a while I know like people think I'm doing too much but like Really, I just am searching for one successful day. Just And success to me looks like, like, can we have like some happy time? Not frustration and... Uh, yeah, those are today's thoughts.